Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. And if you are in the market for a used Tesla Model Y, I am going to help you spot the differences if it's fake or real in terms of being a performance or not. Stick around. This is Tesla Tips and Trips. All right, back inside the Y now, and we're going to go over some of the uh, listings that actually prompted this video uh, that I want to let you know what to look for on these listings, on these photos, maybe even ask the dealer if uh, if you're really interested in the car to have them take photos of. So I'm going to put this up on the screen as well, but I'm going to read it off my iPhone. Um, so looking at this blue one here, uh, use 2020 Tesla Model Y performance. Now, right off the bat, it says performance, but there's a few things after showing you uh, later in the video that it just doesn't seem like it's a performance to me. The wheels first and foremost. Sure, I get it. You can get a performance and you can throw the, um, the, uh, the, the other wheels on it, but um, it doesn't have the wing. Uh, let me see if I zoom here. It doesn't have the underline on the model uh, on the um, dual motor. So right off the bat, this screams not a performance, even though the listing says performance. Now, I'm not gonna throw these guys under the bus. I'm not gonna say that they're trying to be malicious in any way. I think they just don't know. I just, I don't think they get it. It should be in the VIN though. It should tell you in the VIN. So let's move along to the next one. Uh, we got a nice gray one here with the black, but these are not Uber turbine wheels right off the bat. So looking at the front of the car, it's a little harder. Uh, the only thing that's a dead giveaway are the wheels. And again, there are performance owners that put the other wheels on there. So even though, again, it says a 2020 Tesla Model Y performance, uh, right off the bat, I have a question mark in my head. So you should too uh, on a listing like this. You just got to do a little more research and just not take them at their word that, oh, it must be performance. It says it's a performance, right? Uh, moving right along, I believe this is the same car. Now it says here, long range, all wheel drive performance in the listing and the specs, but it has the 20 inch induction wheels listed in the specs. So again, I don't think so. Yeah, this is the same car, 48,894 is the list. Uh, same mileage as well. So again, red flags all over the place on this particular listing as well. Um, let's go to another one. This is a black one, or no, this is the same, same one again. Now we've got a situation where it's leaving a little doubt in your mind because it says dual motor with the red underline, which could be a photo of another car though. So I don't know, be careful of this listing, for instance. It's it's a little, little shady. I'm not saying it's on purpose again, but something's a little weird with this listing and, and you guys should be uh, aware of that. Again, same listing, they're showing the um, the wheels for the long range and claiming it's a performance. I think that's it. Is that all I have? So those are just some of the listings that prompted this. And I saw a bunch of listings out there on all the different apps, Cars and CarMax and um, uh, Auto Trader, Carvana. I mean, they're all over the place. It's not like one particular place is trying to pull one over on you. I just think they don't understand the differences. And that's why I'm here, uh, maybe for the car dealers as well, or for the uh, the listing agents for these cars, uh, to let them know exactly what you're looking for to, uh, to decipher between standard range, long range, and performance. All right, finally, we've got this listing that I came across that's actually from the Tesla.com store, the Tesla website itself, coming right from the source. And this one is so bizarre, so unbelievably weird, I had to share it with you because I, I wouldn't even consider this car a Tesla Model Y performance. Let me throw it up on the screen. So here we're looking at a 2020 Model Y. First of all, 55,900, that's just you know out of left field here. 18,478 on the uh, odometer. Here's where it gets a little strange. At first glance, you're looking at Gemini wheels. That screams not performance, even though performance is in the title. And I went a step further. I took the VIN and I plugged it into one of the websites that uh, exactly decodes everything. Uh, I have the, the, the link down in the description. It says it is a performance. I mean, it's coming from Tesla. It says it's a performance, yet we've got Gemini wheels on there and it goes even a step further. 315 mile range, there's no performance uh, new on the market with that kind of range. 
Uh, mine has 303, for instance. The top speed is also reduced by 10 miles per hour uh, compared to mine. And the 0 to 60, I guess, is the same. I thought mine was 3.2, but I could be wrong. Um, so then you've got the carbon fiber spoiler. You've got two. Uh, well, no, actually, you have one element, one visual cue, one element on the car that says performance, and that would be the spoiler. Now, here's the thing. It's coming from Tesla. They could easily slap Gemini wheels in a spoiler and call it a day. Uh, how they monkeyed around with the VIN, I'm not quite sure. It's just, and they have an enhanced autopilot on this particular one. So, I don't know, for 55000 you get a brand new one with all the actual performance items that we're about to show you uh, for 59000 and change. So, this is a weird, bizarre kind of listing. It kind of goes against everything I'm about to show you what a performance is. Uh, I don't know about the pedals. The performance pedals on the inside, obviously we don't have the screen telling us uh, what's going on uh, for this particular model, but the VIN number says p uh, performance. I don't know. If I'm laying down almost the same money as a brand new one that you could buy today and not getting all the performance stuff, I mean, this picture doesn't show red brake calipers either. No, they're silver if you zoom in on it. Um, so it's only got one of the items the, the spoiler that says performance besides the actual text that says performance in the VIN. So this is a, a, a iffy one. If I was laying down this kind of money, I would not be spending it on this and, and under the hopes that it's an actual performance. So I don't know about, obviously the zero to 60 says it is, but the top speed, it doesn't, but then you get all the benefits of the, this is a weird listing. So be on the lookout for these guys as well. These kind of weird listings that uh, it doesn't have all the performance things that test the promises normally on a brand new one. Um, but take a look at this one, see for yourself, clearly, uh, there's some weirdness going on in the market. Let's head outside the car. I'm gonna show you all the differences outside the car. Then we're gonna come back in the car because there's a few things inside the car that's gonna be a giveaway as well. So let's go take a look. All right, so walking up to the back of the car, uh, there's a few things to note and what makes this a performance and may uh, make others not so much a performance. And keep in mind that some of these things you can add or delete to any model car. But first and foremost, a performance is going to come with a red underline on the dual motor. A long range is going to come with the dual motor without the red underline. And then the standard range is going to come with nothing here. This is blank. So those are some things you got to look at right away. The next thing for a performance is, of course, the carbon fiber spoiler. Again, this is removable or added later, uh, but it's something you need to look out for. The other thing is this red Tesla. Is actually meaningless. I did that aftermarket. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Uh, what else in the back here that would uh, indicate this is a performance? Absolutely nothing, actually. So those are the two things uh, that you need to look out for in, in terms of the back of the car. Let's fly over to the side of the car, in which there are actually three things to look out for. And uh, most of them have to do with, uh, actually, they all have to do with the wheel area. So let's go take a look at that. First and foremost, the performance are going to come with red brakes or red, red brake calipers. Now, the new models are coming with red brake caliper covers. These are painted. This is a 2022 model, Tesla Model Y performance. And so these are painted, but they will be red. Uh, of course, you could repaint them later and change the look and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, it's a collection of all these things that you're really looking for on, a, on an online listing to see if, if it's a performance or not. Uh, the other thing is, of course, the wheel itself is an Uber turbine. These are the ones that come stock. There's no other choice. So if anything is different, it will be added afterwards. And of course, in the used market, you know, all bets are off. It could be anything uh, on these on these wheels. Now, the third thing is, and you're probably scratching your head because most people don't realize this. There is a third thing to realize, and that is the height performance is slightly lower. So look for this gap right here. This will be lower on a Model Y performance uh, compared to a Model Y standard range or long range. So three things to look out for on the side of the car. And uh, most of these listings are going are gonna to give you all kinds of different things. 
in terms of photos and stuff. But they don't always give you what you're exactly looking for. Uh, front of the car, nothing. There's really nothing different about these cars, standard range, long range, or performance. So unfortunately, there's nothing here I can share with you that's going to be different. Um, tires. For a while there, they were coming with performance uh, tires on the performance model, but um, I actually lucked out. I think it was the week that we took delivery that we actually got all season tires. So that's not necessarily something that um, you can look out for in terms of differentiating a, a performance compared to the other models. Mud flaps I added, so don't uh, look for those. Some are coming with mud flaps and PPF here, depending on what region you're buying in. Um, but I've seen them online. These are better. These are Tasmanians, and the ones that actually come from Tesla are, are not. They're not very good. They look like just a single flap of plastic. Um, can't think of anything else that would give away this as being a Model Y performance except the things I've just shown you. We got the stuff in the back, the dual motor badging, the dual motor badging with the red. Now, there are a couple of items inside the car that will be a giveaway as well. And we'll show you those. Well, actually, let's show them to you right now. All right, walking up to the car. There's one inside the car that is a dead giveaway and is not user changeable, at least not easily anyway. Uh, first and foremost, a performance model is going to come with these pedal covers, performance pedal covers. They're silver with black down. The, these are stock, basically. So if you're seeing these, um, or if you're seeing all the other things on the outside of the car, I've seen listings like that actually. All the other things on the outside of the car look like a performance, like it was dolled up to be a performance, and then they get inside the car, the pedals are black. So there's a red flag for you guys to look at. And I can tell you that I have a Tesla Model 3, I have a spoiler, I have these pedals, um, I have the black wheels. At first glance, it looks like a performance, but it's, it's not. I don't have the um, dual motor with the red line, for instance. Um, so there you go. There's another clue that this is a actual, real performance model. Um, nothing here on the door sill, Tesla Model Y. I'm trying to look on the um, sticker here with the tire stuff. It doesn't say anything that would indicate performance. So let's take a look at the surefire way to tell if this is a performance, and it can't be user modified. Let me show you what that is. Okay, if you head inside the car, this is the surefire way to tell if a model is a performance or if it's not, and it can't be, as far as I know, can't be user modified, unless you're some sort of hacker and changing the code and changing the images and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that's impossible. Anything is possible with a computer, but the likelihood of that is pretty slim, especially uh, if you're finding these at a dealer, uh, maybe a private sale. Uh, but anyway, so you go under the car, you go under software, and you go right here. Right here is the surefire way to tell if it is a performance or not. It says Model Y dual motor with the red underline. The red underline is indicating a performance, and that is a dead giveaway, and it's right there on the screen. You can't change it. So there you have it. That is the way to tell if this is the real deal or if you are looking at an imposter, <laughs> so to speak. All right, there you have it. All the differences between a Tesla Model Y performance and the other model Teslas. Now, a lot of these things are similar or the same for Tesla Model 3. I just didn't do all the research on that. Um, I, I have one of these, so I wanted to share exactly what we have in terms of a performance and all the little clues you can look for on a listing on a used model uh, Tesla that uh, you might be interested in. You want to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck and you're not getting hoodwinked <laughs> by some dealer uh, trying to pass off a performance that uh, in fact is just not a performance. So those are all the clues to look out for and I hope you find this video uh, uh, useful in some way. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell. All those things are much appreciated here on the channel if you find value in what we're doing. And um, yeah, there you go. The differences on used model Ys and uh, the things to look out for. And now you are an expert 
as to uh, identifying all the different models on the uh, on the, the Teslas while you're out and about. If you're driving around, you can impress your friends or family while you're driving around. You can, oh, that's a performance. Oh, they're faking it. That's not real. That's not a performance. Nice try, buddy. By the way, one of my cars is like that because I got a Model 3 with a, a spoiler and all kinds of performance -y kind of stuff. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks cool, right? Uh, a lot of the stuff I'm getting to to update my Model 3 and Model Y are, are review units from all these accessory makers because of this channel. So it's not like I'm setting out to modify these cars in that way. Anyway, I think we're done. I can be long-winded. I apologize. We'll see you on the next video here on Tesla Tips and Trips. Is it fake or real?